Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can make an open dialog box in Visual Studio in like a, with Visual Basic Code. Like first of all, search for like the open dialog. There are a lot out here. For, uh, click on the open dialog and you see that it gets added over here and let's make this open dialog just to open text files you can open other files too but since I'm gonna be opening text files I need to have a text box where the file will stay like will be viewed I'm gonna click on multi line so that the length of the file doesn't matter I'm gonna be adding a button so now let's rename this Click on open text and now type in the following code. Open dialog1 which is the name of the file dialog dot sh show dialog. This will just show the dialog and nothing will happen once you click on open or anything. So this is pretty much useless if you don't add anything else. Another thing you can do is open dialog one dot title files it's totally up to you then add open file dialog one dot initial directory now this is like the first place that the open file dialog will default location where it's gonna open with so see I have some text files here so let's have this is the location that I'm gonna use there you go and now the most important of all the file that the user is gonna open the text file gets saved into something needs to be saved somewhere so let's make a variable it's gonna be string because I'm working with text like text and all Now let's see str. Let's define what this is equals to open dialog one dialog one dot file name. Now the str text will store the pathway of the file that we choose it's not gonna store the whole text file the or all the data from the text file it's gonna store the location where the text file is now if I open this with an MSG box let's hit start when you click on open text this is the title and now it's on the default location let's say I click on links and I click op open and see an MSG box comes up saying the location of the text file that I chose so we don't want to see that we want to get the text data from the text file that we chose so which will be on the text box so let's write a code text box one dot text equals to my dot computer dot file system dot read all text and now the location of the text that we want to read which is str So now let's run open text select and there you go let me show you all the text files like this is one these are some links these are so let's run this again let's I click on this and the codes are here let's click on links links are here and so yeah it's really simple and easy to understand I would say cause 
it can be useful in your software like I don't know there are many creative ways how you can use this you can do filters so you can only filter the text files you don't want other things to like be there like if there if in this folder there are only text files but there could be other files like uh, images and stuff like that so um if you want to filter your open dialog box what you gotta do is add some add a code dialog name dot i mean filter equals to you add one of these text files so yeah so now let's make an image let's see what happens when we open the dialog see the image didn't show up so um the filter is working well so that's pretty much it and thanks a lot for watching leave a like if if you found this useful and so and don't forget to subscribe now see you in the next video